Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ahmed, uh, School of Engineering. So my project is biomass gasification for producing high quality syngas. So uh, first part, we are using biomass to produce a syngas, which is a synthetic gas. It's a composition or a wide variety of useful combustible gases like carbon monoxide and hydrogen and small amounts of methane. This is the syngas and the biomass materials are for uh, in a simple form it's any hydrocarbon materials which contains carbon hydrogen oxygen and likely most of the living species contain those materials like the uh, food crops like the food waste like the trees most of the living species are uh, can be converted into biomass and likely this is a renewable source of energy it's sometimes called a zero emissions it does not affect the greenhouse gases. Uh, for example, if you have a look at this picture, the first one on the left, for example, uh, for the biomass, the trees, they just absorb the CO2 from the atmospheric air. Then by burning them, again, they will release the same amount of CO2. That's why we say on biomass, it's zero emissions and does not contribute into greenhouse effect. So uh, we are converting a renewable source of energy, which is sometimes waste, we are consuming waste to produce high quality gases. These gases can be used into many, many forms like uh, power plants, like producing fuels for internal combustion engines, uh, for many means of transportation. We have some sort of limitation on those gases. Uh, sometimes it contains some uh, particulates, we have to clean it. And also those gases are not having high heating value like the normal fossil fuels that's what we are working on uh, for simplicity the process of gasification is somehow like the combustion normal combustion for combustion you have to get fuel and add a sufficient amount of oxidizer to be combusted for gasification it's the same process but on the gasification we are not supplying uh, total amount of oxidizer required for a combustion. We only supply a limited amount of air or oxidizer. That will make the product into the form of useful gases, like the carbon monoxide, like the methane, like the hydrogen, what we said at the beginning. So, at the end, we are using a clean source of energy, renewable source of energy, and decreasing the amounts of waste to produce a useful gas and also reducing the amounts of CO2 levels in the atmosphere. That's it.